We reported yesterday on two near drownings in as many weeks at the same city pool. We've now learned last night that more people were at Hitchcock Park swimming pool after hours. Three News Now reporter Isabella Basco went to city leaders to see what can be done to improve safety and security. It was legendary back then that kids would sneak in there and they used to be able to go all the way up to the diving towers back then late at night in the dark jumping off those. Longtime Omaha resident Greg Smith has vivid memories of break ins at Hitchcock Pool from decades ago. This isn't like a recent problem. This isn't a current generation problem. This has been going on since I was kind of in middle school or before that even. Omaha police are seeing a consistent pattern. Groups of people going to the pool after hours through fences or locked gates. Monday night, officers cited two people, one for violating park curfew and the other was charged with a DUI, violating park curfew and not having a driver's license on them. With more incidents of trespassing happening here at Hitchcock Pool, Councilmember Vinnie Palermo does want to take some measures. This has been going on forever uh, since the beginning of time in a public space where we have public pools that are in a park. It's nothing new, but the new part is that people are getting hurt. And now that they are, we certainly want to increase the patrol and try to take that aspect away. If it has to come down to improve lighting, uh, different fence, uh, more police presence, then that's certainly what we're willing to do. But changes like that will take time. Meanwhile, police say they'll be patrolling at night. In Omaha, Isabella Basco, 3 News Now. At a meeting with other city leaders today, Palermo says the issue of trespassing at city pools was discussed. 3 News Now also reached out to Parks and Rec. They tell us they hope people take responsibility for themselves and don't put their own safety or others at risk.